Rose Fever grips nearly 75,000 fans at East Lansing, Michigan, where Michigan State and Illinois meet in the Big Ten game of the year. It's a winner-take-all affair with a victor collecting the Big Ten title plus a Rose Bowl berth. Big man in the state attack is Little Sherman Lewis. This 150-pound scat back is one of the most explosive breakaway backs in football. Illinois' return to pigskin prominence has been paced by Burley Dick Butkus. Butkus, a 237-pound junior, figures to be virtually a unanimous All-America selection at the center position. Both Illinois and Michigan State bring identical 6-1-1 one one records into this crucial game. On Michigan State's opening series of plays, co-captain Sherman Lewis fumbles the ball and Jim Warren recovers for Illinois on the Spartan 27. Mike Tolliver pegs a down and out pass to that same Jim Warren and Illinois has a first down on the State 12. The Spartan defense throws up a roadblock, but Jim Plankenhorn boots a perfect 22-yard field goal and the lead belongs to Illinois, three to nothing. In the second quarter, we see Mike Tolliver attempting to pass for the Fighting Illini. Tolliver is unable to find a receiver, but he is able to find running room and plenty of it. It's a first down for Illinois on the Michigan State 23. Once more, an inspired Spartan defense foils the Illini offense, but Jim Plankenhorn delivers his second field goal of the game, giving a six to nothing edge to Illinois. Dave McCormick, a sophomore quarterback, launches a come-from-behind bid by the Spartans. McCormick passes complete to Harry Amon, who scrambles out to the state 38. <laughs> Illinois applies the pressure to McCormick, but the youngster proves he has plenty of poise. A blindside block obliterates Dick Butkus and permits McCormick to turn the corner. Spartans whoop it up with their best scoring opportunity of the game. As the slow motion camera rolls, we see State's bid go up in smoke. Roger Lopez fumbles a handoff. Illinois All-American center Dick Butkus makes a clutch recovery to preserve a six-point advantage for the Fighting Illini at halftime. In the third period, Fumbleitis continues to plague the Spartans. Dick Probstel loses the ball, and Ed Washington finds it for Illinois. It's a first down for the Illini on the state 14. Jim Grabowski, Illinois' rock'em, sock'em sophomore fullback, rips the Spartan defense apart with a savage charge into the end zone. If you think Grabowski is a happy boy, you're 100% correct. The Illini lead swells to 13 points, and the scent of roses is present on that orange and blue bench. The Spartans have been able to move the ball, but they haven't been able to score. Roger Lopez picks up a first down as he struggles to the state 35. Dave McCormick hits his mark with a pass to Harry Amon. Amon makes his way to the Illinois 18 as Michigan State fights to get on the scoreboard. A determined Illinois defense holds firm. And on fourth down, the slow motion camera pinpoints Dave McCormick's passing. The ball sails through the arms of Mike Dundee and State's receiver can't handle it. Illinois takes a 13 to nothing lead into the final period. Michigan State starts a last ditch drive with Sherman Lewis going wide for a 20 yard gain. The Spartans have a first down on the Illinois 40. Dewey Lincoln tucks a pitch out under his arm and cracks inside left end for a fast nine yards. Sherman Lewis has not been able to shake loose on any long distance runs, but he does pick up a first down on the Illinois 14. It's fourth and seven on the Illinois 11. Sherman Lewis is the victim of a fired up Illinois forward wall and that's the ball game. Michigan State is shut out 13 to nothing. Illinois, the Cinderella team of the season, rebounds from the bottom to the top of the Big Ten and bounces right into the Rose Bowl. For Coach Pete Elliott, happy days are here again. And the Fighting Illini will next be seen on New Year's Day against Washington in Pasadena's pigskin spectacular, the Rose Bowl. <laughs>